Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go see what the commotion is over at the hot dog stand now, shall we? Mm, loading, 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 loading up. No, bad, so very bad. Behave yourself, egg. But it's alive. What is this craziness? I've never seen an egg jump around like that. No, bad, come back, help. My imported egg escaped. Somebody catch it. All right, let's go catch that egg. But first, we gotta see what. What do you do? Anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you do say something a little bit different. <laughs> well, looks like you'll never have that hot dog, now will you? <laughs> yeah, the characters have different dialogue depending on the the points in the game. It might be, and yeah. Anyway, let's chat with him. So bad, it does not even have arms and legs, and still I cannot catch it. My menu is going to have the southern fried egg dog of tastiness, but now, bad. I ordered that naughty egg from the island in the south. I had to pay shipping too. Don't just stand there. Help catch it. Okay, all you have to do is bump into it somehow, some way. It takes a little bit of work to do it. No hammering necessary. That would be kind of bad for the egg. Up oh, there we go. Got it. Most oh, awfully bad. Come down from there, bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? You, don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. And thus it falls asleep peacefully. <laughs> um, no new dialogue. Okay, let's go get that egg. I already showed you how to get up there before, but you don't technically fly there. You glide there. That's the the physics of a paper airplane after all. So let's see if I can manage to pull off a good flight on this once again. Keep the height, keep the height, keep the height, keep the speed. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I failed. I failed. It is actually kind of tricky to get on top of that hot dog stand. So admittedly, I got a little bit lucky on my first uh, run on that. Had to be very proficient with your speed and Maintain control... No! Oh, I got it! I actually got it! Woo! Woo! Oh, I should switch to uh, Flurry. I like Flurry's dialogue better for this one. No. You wish for us to help you, you darling little egg? Mario, hon. What do you think we ought to do? Mm -hmm. uh, let there be hot dogs! Woo! I love them! Mario, wash your mouth out this instant. How dare you frighten this egg? Well, I never. Little Eggy, you just ignore the scary man, okay? We will let you go. You, sir. Mr. Proprietor, would you allow us to free this poor soul? Uh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. <laughs> that is true. Well, that's just lovely. Wait, is that a typo? Or is that actual, an actual word? I'm not... never heard of loverly before. Well, I, well, I guess maybe it could be a word. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. I mean, after all, we do make our own language. <laughs> slang words that were once slang are now incorporated into dictionaries. Hmm, what is it now, dear? You wish to accompany us, you adorable thing? I dare say, this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What shall we do? Hmm. Mm. No, they bug. They bug, bug. Nah, no, they, yeah, they, nah, I can't speak. They bug me. There we go. <laughs> Mario, you awful, awful man! <laughs> Why must you torment him? We simply must take him in. You're all clear, little one. But do not, do you try not to get underfoot, all right? Okay, and now, at this point, the egg joined the party. I recommend that you write down whatever it says on whatever your clock is, because a thing just happened. Um, the time that you get this, and the time after you... Um, there's a time frame between this and the point after your encounter with the 10th rank battlers at the Glitz Pit. Now, depending on how much time has passed since you've got this egg and the time uh, after you face the 10th rank opponents, will determine what color of the thing comes out of this egg. I'm not going to tell you what comes out of this egg, but if you want to manipulate the color of this, you got to get within a certain range. Uh, I'm aiming for a black or white one because they're my favorite colors ever since a certain uh, N64 game of critters that come out of said eggs. <laughs> um, so that means I have to get within the 18 to 19 uh, point range, I mean 18 to 19 minute range 
after I get the egg for it to be black and 19 to 20 for it to be white, okay? Okay, now after you get to right here, you get an email. This isn't really an important email, but uh, let's just go over to check it out. RDM issue 2, Rogue for today, Old Toad settles in. It's come to light that after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth, age 60, has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, age 55. The notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when she heard, uh, when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending time with my little toadly toes? Aww, she actually does have a heart. <laughs> The possibility such a comment op opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Shop reporter, go! A focus of attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is money and girls are fickle. So easy come, so easy go, you know? <laughs> he fully understands why a shop isn't busy or two, or well hidden. You think? You're hidden be behind a perfectly camouflaged wall. Well, maybe not that perfectly, but still. But we're like... But like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. So yeah, if you go shop over there, after the point you get this email, uh, within a 15 minute time frame, you'll get double the shop points if you care about that. I'm not gonna go back because I, I still have to time this dang egg. <laughs> Cooking for rookies. Today's yummy recipe. Spicy soup. Steep a fire flower in hot, oh, uh, in hot water and presto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't that kind of douse the fire flower? But then again, they do grow in soil and... I'll oh, forget it, I probably shouldn't question fire flowers. Editor's notes, we've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, hot news in issue 3, coming soon. Published by the Red Report Restoration Committee. Okay, and that's done with that. And we should see what these three are doing here. I think this is... these are the three that, uh... Uh, KP Koopa was talking about, you know, the one of the uh, girls that he wanted. Well, the rough and tumble badly and traveling sisters three! Boy, those major league mass matches just get us so excited! Our knuckles get white, our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow! You are good for business, aren't you? <laughs> so yeah, that they're quite literally called the traveling sisters three because you see them throughout the game, if that wasn't obvious now. Um, unless that, that guy, I mean, those girls weren't the girls that KP Koopa was talking about. <gasps> it's you! You're back! Bonjour, Mr. Mustache. I wonder what flavor is that beautiful madam it is, is like. She is like a ravishing but thorny red rose, hmm? Oh, she is thorny. <laughs> She's uh, talking about uh, Goombella, of course. Uh, Prince. Is this. Yeah, I think this is. Uh, uh, yeah, new dialogue. Hey there, and welcome. To... I once. No, wait, never mind. What? You, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Mm, that you could be important later. Ah, oh, the good Gonzales. No offense, ma'am, but I don't follow minor leader. Dang it! You're as bad as those reporters. You want to know something? That Rockhawk is actually a total coward, dude. I heard this rumor that he rigged this fight with Prince Mush to make him withdraw. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So yeah, there was a uh, uh, new dialogue there that I read, read through. But I've got. A bunch of time to burn here but yeah um, that th this egg right here is the reason why I had so much issue making a part yesterday dang you egg dang you jumping eggs really do bug me <laughs> so anyway um, I've got to burn some time until I get to the point that I'll, I'll be I'll feel comfortable starting up said rank 10 fight so yeah let's go burn some time I suppose all right, let's play some solitaire. You know how this game is played if you've been on a PC. I mean, come on, this is solitaire. And we're also playing with these really nifty clear playing cards. Oh, yes, I love these cards so much. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you know how to play. Just match opposite color suits down in a row and make ace up to uh, king piles up there in order so I can just start off by doing that and anytime you unclear out a pile you can flip out a card or uh, flip over a card underneath it yeah it's all basic stuff that you probably know being a PC user or a computer user in general solitaire is the king of boredom uh, fixers I guess you could say hold on a sec just want to make sure there isn't more moves that I can do here okay one, two, three card draw. 
Um, I can place this here. Oh yes, like a pro. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna win this. The chances of winning Solitaire is extremely low. Well, maybe it's not that low, but it's low enough. Mm. Oh, no, my ace! Why? Why must the ace be deeply buried? Oh wait, I can plop that there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to offset. Oh no, not, not, not another ace! Why? I, I can't place a king without a blank spot. No! Mm. Um... Uh, I can put this here. Oh, oh dear. This, oh, I never know if I'm gonna win. The excitement is just too much for me to handle this much solitaire. Um, hmm, can't place any stacks anywhere else, unfortunately, at this moment in time. So I guess I'll have to keep going, unless I'm just missing stuff. But I'll be able to su uh, shuffle and cycle a deck anyway. Well, not shuffle them, but I mean cycle through the cards. Uh, in the same order. You know when those rules, you know the solitaire rules. Come on now. And oh geez, what am I gonna do? I hope, I hope that I will be able to win this game. I must contain my excitement from the suspense that is solitaire. Hmm. Nope, looks like I'm stuck. So here's what we do. We flip the deck back over. And we draw three more cards. This time, because I used some from the deck, their order will be cycled a little bit. So maybe I have a chance, but based on what I've seen in the deck, I'm not too hopeful. <laughs> well, I'll cycle through them once again. Oh, no, oh, still need that king in place. So I, not that king. That, that king wouldn't be that, all that helpful. But it would be nice to get the kings out on the field. Though so sometimes it's not all that helpful, because sometimes it's nice to have more other piles out there. Urgh. Oh, nope, still not seeing any way. I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that, but no, I can't. It's stuck on the ground like glue. Oh, such sadness. Much plastic. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, we gotta move! And then we're stuck. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, maybe not, maybe not. No, no. Um, no, oh, maybe, nope, nope, definitely not. Dang, because that seven is still buried in there. If that seven was up there, I could move piles around. I mean, if that seven was in here, I could move piles around. Ah, must keep focus, must relax, must try and win game. Okay, we're starting to get the piles down. The seven pile on the end is always a pain. Then again, the six isn't much better, and sometimes the five is two, but there, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're clearing out stuff. We are, oh, ace, oh, excitement. Gotta, gotta calm down. Gotta calm down. The ace of spades is in there somewhere. Oh, so I can't plop the two up there, oh, poopers. <laughs> Must win solitaire somehow. Must think strategically. There is a little bit of strategy to solitaire, but it's not something that you can always win at. I, I forgot the odds of winning offhand, but it is indeed uh, pretty low. Lower than I'm usually comfortable with, because I'm not a luck-based game sort of guy. Oh, wait a second, before I... Oh, uh, no, it looks like I can't do any more, anything more there. One, two, three... I'm stuck. Three... I'm still stuck without that ace. No! Maybe I'll be able to get the king back on the field. This is a really uncomfortable game of solitaire I'm playing here because the camera's in my way and I'm off to the side. <laughs> That's why I'm playing one-handed here. Not only I'd play with two, it's much more comfortable with two. Like having one hand on the deck to deal the cards and the other to... Uh, ooh, is that a good idea to put that on there? I don't know. Well, I, I, I guess because it frees up stuff, but I'm thinking of piles of cards that I can put down on the table. Oh, wait, that was a good idea. At least I think it was. Uh, let me pick up card pile one-handed. Okay, good enough, good enough. Flip. Queen, no, I need the king. Urgh. Must think, must think, must win solitaire. Urgh. Wait, wait, hold on. Aha. Oh, nope, I must, I'm stuck again. Oh, I'm sad. So very sad. Well, 
Let's keep going. Let's keep... No, the ace. The ace, it's... It's... No, and I need the king again. Oh. This isn't looking too good. The key cards are buried. Could be anywhere in stacks. Mmm. And this jack doesn't match this queen. It would match this one, but I can't put it down without the king. Arr! Must keep going. Must keep dealing. Gotta see if you can win. Well, if I can win. Oh, come on now. Can't place the card anywhere. Must redeal three more cards. No, stuck. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I got a card out of the deck last round, so maybe the cycle will continue and cards will be accessible now. Can I please? No, the queen's in front of the ace. That's bad. I oh, oh no. This could be the end. This could be the end. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Someone's probably going to tell me I have a move that I'm just not seeing at the moment. <laughs> that usually happens with Solitaire. It's that you don't always see every move you have. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Where? No. I... No, oh, no. I, I, I think I lost. I think I lost one more time. Gonna go through it one more time. Oh, wait. Just to be sure, that's what most players do, I, I think. Or at least that's what I would do. <laughs> I think that would be the logical progression of sorts. I can't even place stuff up there. No black six. No red queen. No red jack. No red for Arr! I hate solitaire. Ah, oh, well, that was a fun way to burn time. But Mario, look enthusiastic about this. All right, let's go reserve that match. I'm about six minutes away from the uh, uh, twenty-minute cutoff time, so that means I have four minutes of fluff that I'll be able to do here uh, versus the armored harriers of dialogue and stuff like that. That should be a good range for me to properly time this dang egg. <laughs> Alright, no special moves, but, um, well, this is going to be an interesting battle, and you'll see why. Alright, let's go right over here, just for the fun of it, and see where we get flipped to that time. Okay, that was pretty natural flip. Alright, let's go. Into the Major League! Yeah, that, that 10th rank is the cutoff point between the minor leaguers and the major leaguers. So whoever's at the 10th rank is in the majors. And now, today's main event, the ma major league awaits the 11th rank Greg Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th rank powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their head tails, don't you dare lose, dude! Love that mustache. <laughs> Woo-wee! The Great Gonzales. How you feeling? Oh, I clicked OK, I guess. Whoa, Nelly. You heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. I actually wanted to click burp, but it, it doesn't really matter what you say, actually. <laughs> Good gravy. I had him out. Oh, our spike's legal. <laughs> Your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. What? I'm not. I wanted to burp, actually. Are Adonis twins, he said, more like paper dog face brothers, and they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Oh, uh, yeah, and then he said, Audi belly buttons run their family, stink wads. And so on, um, yep. What? I never said all that. What? How does he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. <laughs> we're going to blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're going to drink you. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand stinkwad. Isn't that kind of hypocritical? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Simmer down there, bro. You stinkwad. You're going to regret opening your yap, yeah, pal. See these bods? They're solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left. 
with a functioning brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Many boss time and spoiler alert, you can do no damage to these whatsoever. We're gonna do it! We're gonna make the Major League if we win! Get psyched, Mario! <laughs> Give up now! We well, stink gods, you're about to learn our skills the hard way. So yeah, you can do whatever you want to them. But it will fail each and every time. So just do a tattle and get out of this battle. Yeah, you've actually got to run away from this battle. That's an iron clock. This guy is scary. Period. Max HP is 6. Attack is 4. And defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clops. Oh boy. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron clop. So its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. <laughs> it's like... Hit using diamond to cut diamond or something. Anyway, it might not be a bad idea at this point. Mm -hmm. ah! Yeah, even super guards do absolutely nothing to them whatsoever. So, run! And sorry for clicking through dialogue a little bit fast there, but I really want to time that egg because that egg is so freaking annoying. <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Alright, so I think I've got it almost timed properly. It's just a little bit more dialogue before it shows itself, which is the point, I think. And I got one coin just for participating, regardless of whether or not I win or lose. Uh, speaking of... Um, you can, I mean, if you, like, game over, I mean, if you die in one of these battles at the Glitz Pit, you don't actually die, you know, like, you don't get a game over like you normally would, you just get sent back here. It's kind of interesting why it's like that, I don't, I don't know why. Hey, check it out, our little eggy friend is gone, what a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo. Yes! I got a black one! Woo! Finally! Finally, I don't have to redo this dang part! <laughs> Gonzalez, check me out. Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? Y you were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild! Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg. Yeah! Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole honest. Just leave it to me. And we get... Oh, I thought I was gonna go to the... Uh, huh? My name? Alright, I gotta name it first. Let's see, uh, I just come out of egg, came out of the egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Alright, let's give this little Yoshi of lovableness a name, shall we? I'm gonna give it the exact name that I gave it when I first played through the game. Yoshter! So there you have a little bit of insight on what my first playthrough is like. <laughs> Alright, yes, indeedly do, this is okay with me. Hmm, Yoshter, huh? Not too bad, dude, not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. And a little tutorial on how Yoshter works, what its abilities are, what it does in battle, etc, etc. You know how these things work. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. Oh, how does that even work? How does it support Mario? It must be really strong. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Woo! Good for speedruns! Yay! And it's so cute. <laughs> also, while on Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. This has a longer range than your typical jump which means that you can go places that you couldn't before. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pump move, or you can use the gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage, like attacking a crab. Woo! All right, and it's only got 10 HP. Yeah, it's still a little baby baby. Those hot dogs outside are amazing. If you have trouble winning, definitely try one. <laughs> yep, I've got a wiener right here. <laughs> Teamwork is important. Bomb. This match, the match is not just for your personal glory. Bomb. If you want to win, you need to know how to bomb your partner fights. 
Mm, ah, both door admits. Mustache is strong. Alright, so I, th I think I should go take a little rest here because I took some damage from the iron cloths. And let's get out there and beat those suckers because we now have the tool to be able to do so. And by tool, I mean this little cute Yoshi. By the way, there are uh, other colors that you can get based on the... Uh, um, uh, well, actually, I'll, uh, what am I saying? I already showed you the colors. I'll show you the individual Yoshis up on screen now uh, while I click through this text because those are the other colors, or I should say that's the other appearances that you can get um, of the Yoshis. All right, Armored Harriers rematch. No special moves. That's just fine. That's just fine. As long as it's not... Um, as long as I can't... I mean, as long as I can um, just... Use regular attacks, I am good. <laughs> because that little Yoshter will be the key to victory. And you'll see why. But not before some taunting. From the Iron Clefts, of course. <laughs> mm, lots of copy pastaing. Yep, again. You think you can take me in Gonzales? Ha! These ultra hard bods just can't lose. All right, rematch of the century. No special moves, but Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. Oh, 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 oh. Stink wads challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner. As if that's gonna help him. Um. It's, it's kind of funny because they aren't higher up in rank. That implies that the other fighters above these two found a way to defeat them. And they might have been able to defeat them. Maybe maybe they have items or something like that that can knock stuff into other stuff. But anyway, here we go. Are you ready? This is the move that does damage to them. Gulp. Hold press R and release when the star lights up. Yeah! Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurts! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us! No fair! Oh dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? Oh, I wanted the super guard just to be fancy. Yeah, I'm basically using just Mario as a shield right here. Oh, a lot of rocks! <laughs> but only one was necessary to destroy and to knock out of the audience. All right, I'm just going to... Um, appeal. Woo! Just to burn a turn. Uh, what, what's in the audience? Can! No you don't! No! <laughs> Gulp! Here we go! Yeah! Oh, I missed, missed the stylish timing this time, but that's fine. We beat him! Woo! Really easy with Yoshter. Oh! Do we have to go back to the Myron League now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Greg Gonzalez. With this win, you made the Major League. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and woolly fight. A diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places. I can tell. Woo -wee. Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new Major Leaguer. Let's hear it for him. Woo! I'm waving my hands, but you can't see me wave my hands because I've got no face cam. <laughs> All right, we're in the major league now. Is your fight money, Mister Gonzalez? And we've got seven coins. Oh yeah, we are going to be a billionaire before we know it. And Mister Gonzalez, Mister Grabba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Okie dokie. Let's follow her. It happens automatically. Oh, transition. Oh, what's he doing in that drawer? Hmm. Maybe he's just grabbing a pen. Mr. Grubba, I bought Mr. Gonzalez, as he requested. Miss Jolene, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what do I want again? Something about Gonzalez? Oh, yeah! Gonzalez, you old so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. 
Yeah, basically, I am a cog in the machine to his battle arena. <laughs> I got a special little something something for you. Go on, take it. Woo! 30 coin bonus. So yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son. But hey, someday if you could become champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe. With some frills or something. You'll look aside, son. That'll definitely be flashy. <laughs> Anyway, that's something for another day, Pod. Take a powder, okay? Okay. Mr. Gonzalez, please feet. follow me if you would. And thus we do. Bye bye, Grubba. Hey, how's it going? Oh, new room! New room! What's this? New room! Of course, we're going into a new room. Because we are major leaguers now. This is the major league locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. Okie dokie. Let's meet the gang, shall we? Four in the room. What's the deal? Would it, ki would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh! Oh, no, no. Stully guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all this way over here for you. <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh, indeed. Hmm? What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ spilled? What in the... Hey, you! Get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked! I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake! Hey, you think you can just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so! You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no-belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Well, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big, bad belt. I love this Yoshi's attitude. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock! And he's gone. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Indeed you did. <laughs> well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Hmm. That is true. Uh-oh. That, that's not a friendly sounding ring. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. From X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Perhaps we'll find out about that later. But for now, let's meet up with our new roomies. You're pretty tough, baby. But you're really going to have the power up to win here. Yeah, they're definitely not as friendly. Hey, where'd you get the hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. <laughs> I'll beat the champ someday, you bet. Uh-huh, that's right. Just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. Destroy the foe before you. That is the only concern of a true warrior. Uh, okay, and uh, now this uh, bed right here will recover your star points, so you don't have to worry about uh, conserving your star power for future matches. Oh, wait, what? I thought it did! It doesn't? Oh, I was mistaken. Oh, I guess you'd still do have to conserve stuff. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. I'm gonna grab this ice storm. Ah! Oh. Whew, I'm gonna look through all the lockers in my sadness for forgetting about that bed's properties and Yoshi was stuck in the locker for a second there. Well, Yoshi was stuck in the locker. Um, in here? Occupied! <laughs> Alright, so I guess we are going to have to go and find out who the X person is, whatever that person is, but in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. I just said next part twice there, didn't I? Oh well, I got a black Yoshi and that pleases me greatly.